You've gone through 100 different programming tutorials, spent months trying to learn a programming language, but in the end, you're still not able to create that final application or the final project. One of the biggest misconceptions is that programming tutorials are going to in some way help you to create a finished product. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my steps on how to move out of this tutorial cycle and start building applications slash projects for real. Starting with number one, find your interest. I always do this when I'm stuck without any flow of ideas to make it easy for me to narrow down my interest i fill out these tables and find out what i should focus on next i recently even got hooked on to a new idea which i'm going to be developing from now on and uh, that is definitely from this technique the second step i often do is to from your interest google search the most common application the trick is to not just search the topics that you wrote down in the previous table instead spend time understanding how these applications are getting created let's take this application for example once i have narrowed down my interest and found out that this application is something similar to what i also want to build the next thing i do is to go to build it with com or any of the applications that are out there and find the stack on which this application is built on it usually doesn't matter to look at the tech stack of the application that you've picked but it actually gives you a bigger picture on what is exactly happening behind the scenes and those are the things that you actually have to know in order to build or release this final project awesome job so we have so far narrowed down our interest we have found out what we want to build and you also have a good idea of what you need to build one of the most important things that you need to know when you want to start building projects or application is wireframing a simple wireframe can give so much insight into what exactly needs to be built and what are the different modules that you need to start with and it's going to make your life so much easier the next step i do is from these basic wireframe sketches i start to understand three main activities that are going to be required for any project life cycle the number one thing to do is to find the modules that you need to build the next step is to start understanding the granular level sections that you need to put inside each module and third is to how to connect them you have actually going through the what why and how phase once you're done understanding these three questions, you are now on the way to get started with your project. All right, so now you have done, you understood what you need to create. The One of the important pillars that is going to pull, push you towards completion is the use of a task manager tool. I often use Jira or Notion to create a simple task. My working style is to create a minimum viable product first and from there on, I try to add things on top of each other. All right, so you've gone through all the steps now. You have the final task even at hand. Next step is obviously to get started with these tasks and start closing them one by one. It does take some time and experience to understand how to create these minimal tasks. But as you go through this process, it's going to speed up your entire workflow by a lot of amount. This is often the usual steps that a big company or a big team of developers would do to get a project from a starting stage, which is basically the idea stage to the completion stage. I would highly recommend you guys to try to build your own workflow because what works for me might not always work out for you. Once you have this workflow, stick with it and start building your application or project from the get-go. Now that you're done with all these steps, bootstrap your application, get started with it. And if you guys are looking for any project ideas, there are two videos right here that you can look at. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, it's Bharat. Peace out.